Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about monthly time frames. We will do technical analysis review and we will figure out what's going on. Is it still bull trend? Let's move to 5 rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for trading view. Let's start from uh, stock market heat map. My name is Vadik. Uh, heat map based on the all USA companies market cap and monthly performance. Monthly performance looks like the a lot of red small caps, but large caps still green, especially like four large caps: Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, Nvidia, right? Google, Apple, and Tesla already red monthly. Let's check weekly what's going on. Just to let's check weekly. Weekly, it's a lot of red, right? A lot of red. Few uh, mega seven stocks: Microsoft, Google, and Apple green. Uh, Nvidia and Amazon red weekly. And let's check daily. Daily, yeah, it's a lot of red, right? Red and mix. Okay, let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. And today, we, let's start from DXY. If you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now, let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50. Yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5, buy and sell script indicator. Below yellow line RSI line and Heiken Nachi bars. That's all, very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my screen, you see sell signal, red circle, green line. SMA5 did bearish crossover over red line. It was entry point for short position. While bars were below SMA5, below green line, it was bearish trend. When bar moved above SMA5, it was bullish trend. And SMA5 green line did bullish crossover over red line. It's a green circle. Since that time, trend was bullish up to February 19 or February 20. Sell signal, SMA5 did bearish crossover again, red circle, bearish trend. And two days ago we received buy signal, again an SMA5 ready for bullish crossover, RSI already did. That's how it works, very simple. It's a DXY, USA dollar, let's see weekly. Weekly last bar still below SMA20, it is still kind of negative. Monthly, same story, last bar below SMA 20, it is bearish negative. And quarterly, it is above SMA 20, it is positive, still positive for the quarterly. Now let's move to Q's. Q's, quarterly. Let's see, last bar still above all moving averages, all time new high. Bearish divergence on RSI, huge bearish divergence, bullish trend, multiple gaps left below, bullish trend, my lines, expected corrections, yellow line, first support uh, stop, second line, is second support, green line, and the red line, red line, it's, it's a reasonable expected correction, around, around $100. And it will be top of 2015. I believe it will be top of 2007, right? Yeah. 2000, I'm sorry, 2000, not 2007. 2000, it's a top of 2000. 2007 was much lower. It was $52. I don't believe 52, but I believe 100, it will be top 2000.com high. That's what we can expect. It's absolutely reasonable. Look at it on the chart. But 
it will be very painful monthly monthly same story bullish trend bearish divergence on RSI same story bullish trend and bearish divergence and weekly time frame same same story nothing changed bullish trend and bearish divergence on RSI absolutely same story bullish trend with bearish divergence you see the white boxes it's all gaps below all gaps it left a lot of gaps below now let's move to S&P 500 SPX weekly time frame bullish trend bearish divergence also it left multiple gaps below monthly time frame similar story bullish trend bearish divergence on RSI bullish trend with bearish divergence and also expected correction yellow green and right and and red line and red line it's around 1500 15, and it will be top of 2000 i know 2000 yeah 2007 top or even no okay uh let's see weekly weekly bullish trend also bearish divergence on RSI and RSI in the overbought territory overbought territory you see bullish trend Dow Jones we can check weeks weeks is also weekly time frame it bounce is getting bounce is trying to go bullish so far it is still it's above SMA 20 it is bullish crossover it's 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 ready to go it's ready to go I believe next week it will move more bullish Dow Jones DIA DIA weekly time frame last bar actually I did some correction last bar it's in decision mode it can do reversal looks like next week it will do reversal because it's a bearish reversal bar it could be bearish reversal bar next week monthly monthly still bullish bearish divergences right on RSI nothing changed and also uh, quarterly bearish divergence bullish trend and expected correction blue line yellow line and green line red line will be around 140 i believe it's a top of 2007 yes it was top of 2007 that's that's what we are expecting will it happen this year possible maybe next year i don't do prediction i just follow the trend that's all just follow the trend so far trend is bullish with bearish divergences multi years bearish divergences iwm russell 2000 let's start weekly weekly bullish trend bearish divergence nothing changed bullish setup monthly same story bullish trend bullish trend bullish signal quarterly same as in my five year bullish crossover over 10 last bar above all moving averages bullish trend now let's move to apple let's move to apple weekly uh, a weekly apple bearish trend last bar below all moving averages except 100 and 200 bearish trend monthly last bar just touched sma 20 in the sma 5 did bearish crossover over 10 but it bars never close below 20. still in the bullish territory with bearish with bearish signal bearish divergences definitely multiple years bearish divergences but still bullish 
trend and quarterly quarterly red quarter red bar but still last bar above all moving averages except sma5 still bullish and at the same time on rsi huge bearish divergence it means definitely apple wants to have reversal wants to have reversal nvidia nvidia very powerful right weekly very bullish left several gaps still very bullish rsi very overbought bullish trend monthly last bar above all moving averages last bar disconnected from all moving averages bullish trend rsi has bearish divergence multi-year bearish divergence bullish trend last bar disconnected from all moving averages um, quarterly last bar above all moving averages rsi rsi has bearish divergences bullish trend bearish divergences right still bearish bullish bullish trend with bearish divergences or nvidia tesla let's see tesla tesla weekly tesla very negative very bearish right bearish trend has some bullish divergences but trend is bearish monthly time frame for tesla also last bar below sma 20 50 bearish trend on monthly time frame and quarterly tesla did bearish reversal this quarter and moved below sma 20. it is negative tesla is negative bearish microsoft microsoft weekly bullish trend bearish divergence microsoft monthly bullish trend let me change bullish trend bearish divergence on rsi bearish divergence bullish trend and quarterly bullish trend bearish divergence on rsi right last bar disconnected from all moving averages amazon let's start weekly amazon weekly bullish price action bullish trend on rsi bearish divergences it wants to have go bearish last bar it's in indecision mode it can do next week it can be reversal week it can can be bearish reversal week monthly bullish trend yeah, bullish trend it did yeah and it, it's building bearish divergences it's building bearish divergence quarterly bullish trend and it's also building bearish divergence you see the price action almost reached all-time high and rsi in a huge divergence huge diversion last bar disconnected from moving averages for amazon google google weekly sell signal last bar moved below sma 20 bearish trend yeah it moved and bounced from sma 20 it's kind of yeah still still trying to go bearish weekly monthly last bar above all moving averages bullish trend and it's built already bearish divergence right because price action is uptrend and rsi is downtrend bearish divergence bullish trend quarterly time frame same story bullish divergence price action and bearish bearish divergence on it bullish price action bullish trend and bearish divergence on rsi huge bearish diversion 
Google wants to have correction, but so far it is bullish. Meta, Meta weekly, bullish trend, bullish trend with bearish divergence, right? Look at it, weekly. Okay, that's why bullish trend, bearish divergence on RSI, weekly time frame, monthly, monthly bullish trend, no divergence, but still bullish trend, RSI in very overbought territory, very overbought, and last bar, look at it, disconnected from all moving averages, and it month is not over, it's still we have two weeks to go, and it's already create created already bearish reversal hammer bar. Three months, quarterly time frame, bullish trend and bearish divergence. Let me show you, look at it. From here, right? Bullish trend and let's see what's going on. Let's see. Bearish divergence, right? Bearish divergence with RSI. It means bullish trend with bearish divergence. It means it wants to go bearish on quarterly time frame. That's all. That's all. We did go over the large time frames. I don't trade on the large time frames. I just monitor it uh, because for swing trading, I'm using four hours and daily time frame for entry and exit position. But generally, market is bullish on all time frames except daily. Daily, it's already started bearish reversal, but weekly, monthly, monthly, and quarterly, it, all of them still in a bullish trend, except two, except Apple, and except uh, Tesla. Only Apple and Tesla bearish on, on large time frames. Everything else still bullish on large time frames only bearish on one on, on on daily time frame that's all that's all for today next week i believe it it, it could be red it should be red next week i mean the red it's a bearish uh, disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only remember for educational purposes we are using paper training simulator Thank you for watching Simple Trading Style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.